hey what's up so i went to the local botanica today and i thought it would be a good idea to go ahead and <clears throat> show you a couple of things that i like to get um some are for myself some are for my clients that i need to do some work with but so first thing is i got some incense for santa clara i work with santa clara a lot she's good for clearing your mind when you feel you have any blockages, um, you can always count on her for clarity. I also got a candle for her to burn on her altar. <coughs> I absolutely love my seven day candles. I have a candle for San Rafael. San Rafael, he's good for healing. He's good for protecting. Um, he watches out for like nurses, paramedics, but he also does a lot of healing work. So in the time that you think you need some physical healing, you can call on San Rafael. He's right there. I remember one time I was in the bathroom and I was in the tub and I'm just like, San Rafael, I really, really, really need you. You know, please come wrap your wings around me. And the next thing I know, I feel like tingling in my feet. <clears throat> and that's one of the signs that Raphael is there with you. And that's a tingling sensation. But this is like pins and needles type of tingling. Anyways, the next one is the Buddha. Of course, we know Buddha's for good luck for the belly. <laughs> but this one has red for <laughs> love. <clears throat> um... The pentacle is also red uh, for yellow for success and green for money. So the Buddha. It also says good luck, fertility, money, and love. I have a chuparosa. <coughs> chuparosa is like come to me, follow me. <coughs> this is good for sugar daddy. Spells. It's also good for come to me spells, which takes me to the come to me oil. So like with the Chuparosa um, candle, it also has a prayer on the back if you want to use the prayer. Because with these candles, um, this is kind of like your petition on the front, it lets the ancestors, guardians, angels, whoever you work with, it lets them know what you're asking for. So on top of your petition that you make and you put it underneath, this is also your petition. Um, but like I said, I got some come to me oil and this you can anoint your candles with, you can anoint your petition with. This one is red. has kind of like a flower, flowery, sweet kind of smell. I have success, better business, yellow for success, green is for money. Who can't use one of these in their lives? Anytime you have a business or just for work or anything and you think you need to bring in more money, more prosperity, more abundance, you can always light one of these candles, pray over it. Now, mind you, when you light a seven day candle, it doesn't just stop when you light it. Like you have to pray over it every day. You have to put in your work. That's why it's called work, right? Because you have to put in your work. I have a John the Conqueror candle, John the Conqueror. This started all with American Indians and John the Conqueror, they grew a root. He was known to be <clears throat> very, very powerful. He is very powerful. He adds power to anything that you ask for. In fact, there's John Conqueror roots that you can add to a lot of your spells that increase the power of the spell. This one just so happens to be uh, 
a house blessing candle. I also grabbed my infamous black candle. Always got to have black candles on hand. Remember what I said. They're good luck. They absorb in the negative energy. Always want to have some of those in the background. I got a reversal candle and you always want black on top, red on bottom, black on top, green on bottom, black on top, white on bottom. You never want it the other way because you always want to make sure you get rid of the negative before you bring in the good. So always remember black is always on top. If you see a candle that's any other way, you don't want it. I got some success incense powder Let's see and the powder the, the powder you use on charcoals so if you have your cauldron or you have um incense burner you put your charcoal on there and you just put the incense powder on there in whatever uh magic or whatever spells work you're doing you let it burn, put your candles through it, <clears throat> let it go in the air because incense always add energy to your workings. I also got some protection, incense powder. I got some prosperity powder because you know I'm going to um, add on the prosperity to the Buddha and I'm gonna burn it alongside the Better Business candle. <clears throat> I also got some, a some Chinese floor wash. The Chinese floor wash is good for cleaning your house of negativity. Um, you always want to clean your home at least once a month. You want to clean it from back to front. Basically, you want to get all that negative energy from the back of the house and you want to sweep it, mop it all the way out the front door. You want to clean your walls, especially when you're a spiritual worker, because so much energy is absorbed in your space that you want to continue to make your space as peaceful as possible because that's your safe haven. You don't want any leftover energy in your space. <clears throat> I also got some tranquil oil. Tranquil oil you can use when you're trying to calm situations. You're trying to, um, from arguments, somebody that has a lot of anxiety. This one just so happens to be a dark green. And we know green is for the heart chakra. The heart chakra has a lot to do with being tranquil. This one has a really calming smell. <coughs> the heart chakra, you always want to work on your heart chakra. You want to work on actually all your chakras, but the heart chakra is most important because that's where a lot of your anxiety a lot of your sadness, a lot of your depression sinks in at and you want to keep that as calm and as open and as happy as possible. And that's why meditation is so important. I meditate every morning and if I can get it in every night for at least 10 minutes, I find that space and I just calm myself. And I let myself know this world, no matter how hard it is, it is a peaceful place. Let me stop because I know you guys aren't here for that. You want to know about my botanic haul. I also got a holy cross candle for my ancestor altar. I always keep a white candle on their altar when I go and visit them. I visit them every day. I also give them ancestor money or hell money, hell notes. My archangel, Michael, he's for protection. I always, always, always keep him. Let him know that he is appreciated for protecting me, for protecting my family, for guiding us. Bayberry. Bayberry is 
a herb that is good for prosperity. It brings in money, <clears throat> it brings in abundance. This is one of those that you always want to make sure that you have on your altar, especially if you own your own business. You want to keep your money flowing in all the time. <coughs> so sorry. Sorry. I also have a cleansing candle. And as you can see, this has all the layers, the red, the green, the red, the yellow, the blue, the pink, the purple and the white. It's covering all my bases. It's cleansing everything. And I am always cleansing <coughs> I'm always protecting because as a spiritual worker, one thing you always have to do is protect yourself. You protect your family, you protect your money, you protect your cars, you protect your finances. Anything that the enemy can come in and and take from you, you want to make sure you're protected because if they can't get to you, they're going to break in some way. And that I refuse. But anyways, I try not to make enemies. I'm a lover, not a fighter. I also got this <clears throat> 33 inches, which covers everything. It covers road opener. It covers love me. It covers wealth. It covers um, destroy everything, abundance. This right here <clears throat> covers all the bases. One thing I also want you guys to know. Is when you buy candles, look at the bottom. You want to make sure that the bottom is in the middle. Because if it's not in the middle, you're going to have a bad burn. And you, the last thing you want to do is be like, oh my God, I have all this black suit on my candle. It's not burning right. I'm going to have bad luck. When all it is is that... The manufacturer didn't put the bottom in the right place. Like it's all the way over here. So of course it's going to burn closer to the glass. Always look, turn the butt over, look at the butt. And let's see what else do I have over here. I just got some more <coughs> single candles. White, green, yellow. Looks like I got some road opener work. <laughs> Um, but yeah, also when you get your candles, you want to make sure that you cleanse them. There's a couple of way of cleansing your candles and that's one with Florida water, but candles like this that are marked and have the screening on Florida water, because it has alcohol, it will take that off. It is smear it. So the ones that have the petitions, that have the, the drawings, the print on them, the best way to cleanse them is with holy water or sage them. You can also use Palo Santo and you just run them through the smoke and just, you know, I cleanse you of all negative energy from what you've been handled and leave behind all the goodness <clears throat> all the love, all the protection, you know, because your candles have been handled by so many people at the, the store, different customers, um, the manufacturers, like you don't know what kind of energy your candles are picking up, but all you want is the pure intention of that candle to be left behind. So like I said, sage, Palo Santo, <clears throat> Florida water. Florida water, if it's a candle like this or like this, then you can use the Florida water and not worry about anything coming off of it. Uh, yes, yeah, so that was my little mini haul today. I love my botanica that I go to because it's like a big ass, big warehouse. Sorry, don't mean to do the cursing. Yeah, so hopefully you like and subscribe and I see my butterfly later. <laughs>